Hey everyone, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. Today, we're going to be playing Globe Sweeper. Now, we've already done a video going over the classic version and the hexagon version. Today, we're going to be playing the triangle version. So if you've not seen the classic version already, which is essentially just Minesweeper in 3D on a cube, uh, check that video out. I'll post a link in the description below. But there's also the hexagon version, which is personally my favorite of the three. Uh, it feels the most natural on the 3D shapes. Uh, but today we're going to be going over the triangle version. We're going to just be doing a small puzzle just for the sake of time. But obviously you can do much bigger ones uh, if you have more time on your side. So how it works is if you've not played a Minesweeper puzzle before, essentially what you're doing is you're uncovering these cells. And the cells are either going to contain a number or a mine. What the numbers represent is how many mines are going to be adjacent to that cell. Now with the uh, classic version, the cells are squared, so it's really easy to see which cells are adjacent. And with the hexagons, it's the same thing. It's a lot easier to see what's adjacent to it. The triangles, I'm going to admit, can be a bit difficult at times trying to figure out what's adjacent to it because there's a lot of adjacent cells. If you look at the corners, and that's how I think of it, is I look at the corners and how many cells are touching that corner. So if you think about this four cell, in this corner, there's one, two, three, four. And so uh, you would think, well, all of those mines, or all of those cells are gonna be mines, but this cell here is also adjacent to this four because it's touching this corner. And so it can be a bit difficult because you can see all of these triangles are adjacent to it because it's touching these corners. So it's really, really pretty tough. So, but that is probably where I'm gonna have to start. And I know with the four, um, no matter how we do it, it's gonna be either, um, well, it can't be these four. Yeah, now that we think about it. So where my mouse is right now, if, it, if we did one, two, three, four mines there, that would break this three, because this three touches all four of those. And that would be too many mines for this three clue. So in fact, we know one mine is gonna be over here, and three mines are gonna be over here to solve this four. And if we're gonna have three mines here to solve this four, then this three is gonna be solved, and these cells here is not gonna contain a mine. So you can see it's a little bit tougher than a regular minesweeper. Uh, and I'll admit, out of the three, I do think the triangle puzzle's going to be the hardest one. Um, at least just because it just seems the least natural, uh, at least to me. And if you feel otherwise, let me know in the comments below. But I think a lot of people are going to agree with me on this one, that the triangle puzzle's the hardest. Now, if we look at this one clue, there's only one available cell that the mine can be in, so that must be it. Now this one, we've uncovered where the mine is for this one, so all these other cells that are adjacent to this one is free. And again, remember, the cells adjacent, think of the, the corners of the triangle. Now this two has one mine, it needs one more. There's only one cell it can be, it must be that one, which then solves this two meaning these two cells are open. Now, if you think about this three, um, we already have two. So don't really know what to do with that. This one is solved, we have one mine. Now, it, you can see it doesn't look like that mine is touching this one, but if you look at the corners, the two triangles touch one another at this corner point here. So this one now is solved. So all of those can be clicked on. This one has one available cell, so that must be the mine. And that solves these two ones, which means we can click on all of these. And so with the triangle, what I would say is what's tough about the triangle is where to start. But once you figure out the starting point, it kind of unravels pretty quickly because there's so many adjacent cells. Once you solve the number, you can reveal a lot of triangles. So this two has one mine, we need one more. There's only one cell that's open, therefore it must be that one. This two is solved, so 
if we look at this point here, it touches this undiscovered cell that must be free since we've already found the two mines. Uh, we look at this too. We have one mine. We need one more. There's only one open spot for it, so that must be it. This two solved. We have two flags next to it. This two solved. We have the mine above it touching this corner and the mine below it touching that corner. So these are open. If you think about this four, um, it's going to be solved because of this three. Yeah, the four, we, we don't know because it has one, two, three, four four open spots and one two mines discovered so there's no way to figure out this four without looking at this three. This three has one two mines we need one more this is the only open spot so that must be the the third mine. That solves this two you can see this two on this corner is touching two flags so this cell is open. This four now has one, two, three flags touching it. Uh, the fourth one must be one of these two. And I don't know if we can figure that out. Let's think about this two. We have one mine, we need one more. There's only one spot it can be, so that's it. This four has one, two mines next to it touching this corner. We need two more. It must be these two, because those are the only two open spots. So both of those are flags. This three is solved now, because if you look at this corner, it's touching one, two, three mines. So those are free. Uh, this one here only has one open spot, so that must be a mine. This two is solved. we got one above it, one below it. This two needs one more. There's only one open spot it can be, so that's it. Solving this two. This three needs one more. We got one above it, one below it, one open spot, so that must be the flag. Solving this three, one above, below, and to the right, meaning that is not uh, a mine. So there you have it. That is the triangle puzzle. I'm gonna admit, uh, not my favorite out of the three. Again, just feels very unnatural when you're thinking about adjacent squares. Um, the hexagon and the classic is, in my opinion, much more fun. Uh, not that they're super easy, because they're not... Uh, I just I think this one's harder, and not because it's tougher logic in your mind. I just think it just it, it's tougher to visualize the adjacent squares. I, I hope I'm making myself clear. Uh, but give it a shot yourself. You might think otherwise. But I, I, if I were a gambling man, which sometimes I am, I would bet you guys would prefer the classic mode or the hexagon uh, mode. But give it a try. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.